Welcome back. <coughs> Welcome back, space travelers, to Doug Play's Mass Effect. Yes. With the technical difficulties sorted out, Doug resumes his work in Mass Effect. And it's Officer Lang! Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Portland was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is, at least for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. So, are you going to do more exploring? Yes. But, uh, uh Emily Wong? Of the Mars Wongs? Ah, uh, the med clinic. The med clinic. It's time to recruit Garrus. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Dodd. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or Who are you? Let her go! Sounds like. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Go ninja. Go ninja, go ninja. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Gavis about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Uh, you and you. Um, what about the tech strength and stuff? Uh, I don't need any of that yet. When I need to tell you, that's when I'll use her. Let's get from the squad. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Fuck. Missed out on a renegade bit. I'll be going now. Nice what about your supplies? And get Paragon points? No thanks. Speaking of though, let me. I uh, uh, I mean, like not I, uh, you. See if I have any points. Some point, points to do intimidation. And uh, I don't really like that. Warp. What does Vanguard do? 
Greek biotics, pistol and shotgun damage. I can't train myself in shotguns, can I? Oh, I can. Hmm. Carnage. Alright, fine. Marksman. Alright, fun. Uh, let's go to Garrus. What you got? No boost. Oh, he has no points. You have no points. Right. Let's try you again. Can I upgrade? No, I can't. Fine. Let's just go full Vanguard. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Keeper. You're not going to use Rapid Transit? No. I don't need to. But there's Emily Wong of the Mars Mars somewhere in this citadel. And I have to punch her in the face. Welcome to the ward. I'll open it. Why? Yeah. Okay. Alright, Emily, I'll talk. That's Garrus. That's Rex. Now I get to punch her. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? I don't have time to give interviews, Ms. Wong. I don't want an interview. I'm looking for information. I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I read about the Siege of Torfin, sending your men to their deaths, shooting slavers as they tried to surrender. I need someone who isn't afraid to get their hands dirty. Someone who'll do what needs to be done. That's you. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Hmm. <laughs> Really want Renegade. I'm here to do my job, not yours. Goodbye, Miss Wong. I see, Commander. I apologize. I didn't get any Renegade. Fuck that. Sorry, people. I am going to... Let me just load. You sure about that? <clears throat> oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank God I didn't get any uh, Paragon points. I never. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Mmm. Mad Exoskeleton Frost. I don't have enough credits. Okay. Do I have anything I could sell? Nope. Let's get out of here. Uh, you? Let's... Do that. Let's 
go back. Let's go up to intimidate. And let's do that. Uh, now time to talk to Emily Wong of the Mars Wongs. Why do you say I'm from Mars Wongs? It's a uh, reference from Futurama. Oh, oh, Amy Wong of the Mars Wong. Wong. Yeah, exactly. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment? I don't have time to get into. I've been hunting. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Did I get the keeper? I don't think so. We're gonna fast forward for this bit. Um, well, it is right around the corner. Uh, no. This is just right around the corner. There we go. Let's take that. I forgot that view was there. The hell are you doing all the way over there, Gares? He was caught. He was eavesdropping in that conversation. That's good. He can calibrate them. What? I, there's a meme. It's a very old meme. Garrison calibrations. How? Uh. It's just. It's just a meme. What kind of a meme are we talking about? It's. It's literally just that. A meme. I don't want to do Citadel Rapid Transit. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Bavaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. Uh. No. I think I'll be going. He has some good things, say, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, he has some good shit, but not a lot of good things. I mean, like, uh, like I will go on a spending spree here. Uh... You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. Far be it for me to get in your way. You go be a hero. Why did you do that? I don't like Conrad. And being nice unlocks something? Not really. I think it does. I don't think it, not. Uh, it's not the end of the world if I don't if I don't if he doesn't like me. Uh. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? Drop the act. I want to know what's going on, Shorvin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are. We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after him. You spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? Just tell me everything you know. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine a tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? That's what all this fuss is about? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. That doesn't explain why you're trying to kill your partner. I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. 
Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Wait a minute. Uh, yes, 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 I know what you can do. Good. My Paragon hasn't gone up yet. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Asshole. What? <laughs> no, you should say that, like, right up, like... Good tidings, human. I'm... Came here to buy some... Oh, shit. Core's done. What, you're not ready to go there yet? No. I don't want to go to Kors Den yet. Still have some shit to take care of here. And here is where I fight an ambush. See? A keeper's here. You know, you really should stop faffing about in the Citadel. Not until I... Not until I get my vengeance. Vengeance. Ah, I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, which... What's this place? Um, course down. All right, fine. I'll go back here. I'll go to the the precipitated. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a I really hope this music isn't caught on the capture. Me too. Let's scan this keeper. And let us talk. Oh. I'm still. Yeah, I thought this was the thing. What thing? Um, the thing. I don't know what you're talking about. The uh, fucking. Seasick! Fast forward? No. It, you know what? Fine. Garrus, move! I wonder if anybody's gonna like slow this video down in order to like hear what the fuck you're trying to say. Uh, maybe. contracted binary helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Uh. 
Citadel Rapid Transit, Keeper, Scanning. Okay, that's... How many more scanners do... How many other keepers do I have to fucking scan? Shit. Uh, hold on. Uh, let's go to journal. Uh, you said there were 14. I thought there were 14. So what, you have eight more to find? Yes. I gotta find them all? I'm gonna find them off camera, just not now. Uh, because, like, you know, I don't want to be... Like, as, as fun as faffing about is, and I do like faffing about in this game a lot, because this game is really fucking fun, uh, no. <laughs> You're not gonna talk to Avina? No, I don't really care for Cortana. I mean, Avina. Oh, wait, no, this is the fucking embassies. The fuck am I doing here? Uh, I might as well talk to the the Volus bitch. I okay. Is he even in the CSAC Academy? Pretty sure he is. Spectre with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way, I'd say that beats CSEC. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. Is that elevator thing going to be in the minerals? Yep. like using Citadel Rapid Transit. Why don't you just shut your face? Damn it, I scanned him already. I didn't. Ah, uh, you know that green check mark. Yeah, 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 I know. The exclamation point shows the way. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorban? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorban would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorban, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorban can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Hello, Commander. Uh, this should be the way to Presidium Space. Otherwise... Keeper. Oh, I already scanned... I already scanned that... No, I didn't! How the hell do I get down there? That, that. Okay, Rex, you can teleport. Yeah, what the fuck was up with that? Who cares? Anyway. Uh, I can't go down there. I thought I could. Well, whatever. Uh, 
And so long as I got the Shorbin bit, uh, I'll take care of uh, the consort thing later. I'll just uh, do some side questing. So I'll, I'll do some more side questing. Uh, but yeah, let's go to Cora's Den. You're gonna go do Cora's Den now? Yeah. Why are you going up? Wait, is this going up? Yeah. Why are you going up? Eh, fuck it. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. I really don't like Rex's, uh, outfit. Oh, I'm here. I can skin a keeper. A keeper's here? Yeah, somewhere here. There you are, you little fuck. Thank you. Oh, I must have scanned that other one then, I just forgot about it. So what's in there? That's a Normandy. Oh. Yeah. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Okay. <sighs> what? I'll use Citadel Rapid Transit. Yay! Doug is actually gonna be doing something sensible. Fuck you. I actually like exploring uh, the Citadel. Why? I think it's fun. I like the Citadel. I like the Citadel in Mass Effect 1 more so than in uh, 2. Rewards. Wait, let me see something. Uh, Presidium. Citadel Tower. Financial District. Fuck it! Alright, you said you were gonna do it later. Might as well get it out of the way now. And is that a keeper? No. Is that a keeper? Oh, I scanned him. Alright. Welcome. I am Melina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. And a hungry bank account. What do you do here, Nalia? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, three or four months. Mm. 
Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What do you do here, Nalia? I'm one of the consort's acolyte. Many of the people here... It's our job to ensure that they leave content. What is the consort? What? It's most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until... I think I'm done here. Melina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Wow, they're zooming in on that booty. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Must search for keepers. No. I see even the human side of consort here is Please, relax and enjoy yourself. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private, that honor. Oh, keepers? Fuck. No keepers! That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Get to the point. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Chorus Den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Man, now she... I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Well, she is, um... Um... She was really on up on you. Yeah, that happens. I am, uh... Awesome. Take a seat if you like. It may be a while. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. The armor that I'm currently in possession of is... Well, shit. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah, it looks terrible. You're using the, the thing again! Yay! Yeah, 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 let's go to Core's Den. Now I have to go to Core. now that I'm in Core's Den. Flee. about the side quest to the cars again? Don't worry, it'll, it'll still... It'll still go down. Really? How? Uh... uh don't worry, it'll still go down. Sure, I'm pretty sure you just fucked over your side quests. Um, not, not by that much, trust me. I'm good. There we go, it's F for first aid. I mean, it's everywhere! I forgot they say that. Come on. 
Enemies everywhere! Enemies everywhere! I think we're good, Shepard. Move, Garrus. Take care of the side voice afterward. Oh, wait, I think Horse Den should still be good to go. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse one. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, God. screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Yay, Renegade plus two, that's what I want to see. Now let's go here. Manual override. Uh... Really? Reduce it to omni -Jow? Yeah. But it's a sniper. I don't need a sniper rifle. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired to an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. That's what I want to see, my renegade. Oh, for God's sake. What? Reinforcements. Just set me up. I knew I 
couldn't trust him. You've got proof Saren is working with the Geth. Hand it over. Not so fast. Who are you? I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Oh yeah, I can go back to Kors Den. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Kors Den. Do you know how many... Who is this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Sarah. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Um... Alright. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Where's the proof you promised? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I trapped a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her? The quarry? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Mm. Oh, Jolly Ranchers. I think this is more than you can handle. She's already survived a run-in with the Geth Shepard, and we need all the help we can get. Take her with you. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Mm. Mm hmm Good. I won't let Paragon go anywhere.
Actually, I'm not you guys. Mm. Mm. Oh, Jolly Ranchers. Mm. Mm. I think there's a side quest coming up. What side quest? Um, you'll see. I think there's one chick. She's upset because, like, she can't get, like, her kid or something like that. There was, like, a death in the family. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why do they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Good. No paragon. Mm. So, what's the side quest about? You just talk to him and you use either a paragon response or a renegade. And I want to go all renegade. Mm. Nope. Mm. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nirali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nirali Bhatia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. You know what I am. If I want Nirali Bhatia, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? You said you'd been briefed on me. How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Mmm. I want that renegade. Oh, that motherfucking renegade, baby. Nope. Mm. Nope. Mm. I'm sorry, uh, space travelers. I really wanted some Jolly Ranchers. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Batya. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Mm. Oh, yeah. Joy Ranchers are so good. Let's go to course, then. Recovers real quick. Mm. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. I got business here, but not Commander. What do you want? I'm 
I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting me. Good! The lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me! Septi Masaraka, General of the Turian Fleet. Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, General. Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace was with her. But now, so you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general. It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I was disparaging his ancestors and shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? Where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. I know. But I really gotta do something about the fucking armor. Fuck you, Harkin. I really gotta do something about that armor. What, Shepard's armor? What, you don't like it? No, it looks so stupid. Take off. That's said and done. Uh, let's go back. Got all everything I need. You want that? Sorry to do a lap dance. Uh, scene does not contain a lap dance. Yeah. Oh God, have I mentioned how much I love Jolly Ranchers? Uh, why? I don't know. Anyway, let's go Presidium. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the embassies first. Clear. What's his face's name? And then I'll go to the consort, take care of shit there. Is it this way? Because that's the human embassy. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus. 
and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So on. Farewell, you. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Dan, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Keep up! Apologetic. Is there a keeper in here? There shouldn't be. No, there isn't. Uh. Um. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. No. I will go here. Presidium. This is scope the consort. <sighs> Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consul. It was a lot. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Ooh, brother's a private back on Earth. Time to go and turn this quest in. Turn the quest in. Turn the quest in, motherfucker! Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. <clears throat> Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin. Tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Uh, thanks. I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Commander Shepard, sex machine. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. And there you have it, um, uh, um, space travelers. Doug got lucky. Yep. Well, Commander Shepard got lucky. Gobblecock Shepard got lucky. Yes, he had the blue bitch. But what will happen next? Tune in next time on Doug Plays Mass Effect Part, uh, Mass Effect 1 Part 3. Uh, 
Are we still not? No, we're not gonna give it a, no, an official title. Alright. Anyway, later, the space travel. We're <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I like how we both laughed there, right? Keeper! Keeper! Oh, I scanned you. Well, alright. Time to mount this keeper. What? <laughs> oh, save.